Hello leaders, my name is Shane Malcolm, Executive Director of Leadership Niagara, and this is Return on Leadership. And we're back with Mark Richardson, Manager of Cemetery Services for the City of Niagara Falls. Do you want to explain a little bit in terms of what that Green Cemetery sure. bit, uh, bit is all about? Because it's very interesting and innovative mm -hmm. from what, we're, what, what, what we know. Yes, yes. So um, the cemetery profession is a very interesting one. And again, I relate it to um, many of the same issues that not-for-profits not go through um, because there's a lack of awareness um, or with respect to cemeteries and death and dying, there's um, people don't speak about it until absolutely necessary. And so the issues that we're facing in cemeteries is getting out and educating people about their options and uh, raising awareness and encouraging people to talk about it. In my lifetime, I have had uh, many opportunities to go camping and uh, I've spent many hours or many weeks in Algonquin Park. And prior to working for the City of Niagara Falls, managing their cemeteries, my end of life idea was that I would be cremated and scattered up north in Algonquin Park, okay. um, because that's where I felt most spiritually connected. In working for the City of Niagara Falls and, and managing their cemeteries, I've learned that there's a, a direct relation between our very last, very last choice on this earth and the impact that we have on it. When someone passes, uh, they have a number of different options um, uh, with respect to embalming and with respect to caskets. The development of the green burial section, uh, while we look at it as a trend or something new, is actually um, has been around since the dawn of time. Right. When we were first burying our loved ones hundreds of years ago, they were being buried in a green fashion. Their bodies weren't embalmed and they were placed directly in the earth. And very often that land was left natural. Right. In fact, so we manage 21 cemeteries in Niagara Falls alone. And 17 of those are what we refer to as pioneer cemeteries. And that's because they're in farmer's fields, just in the middle of a field. Right. Um, we have one that's in the middle of a woods, um, another that uh, would be on an old or a, a vacant church property. Um, so many of these would have been, the burials at these locations would have been done in a green fashion. The, the reintroduction of green burial sections is ultimately looking at the property, the cemetery property itself, and figuring out how we can um, how we can improve on the environment through cemetery services. So Willow's Rest is a two-acre section at Fairview Cemetery in Niagara Falls, and beginning in 2016, we started investigating the opportunity to develop a wildflower meadow, and. Um, we did so through community support. And again, this goes back to uh, some of the questions that you were asking about Leadership Niagara. So not only has Leadership Niagara kind of reinvigor reinvigorated my um, need to be involved with the community, but it, it uh, kind of opened my eyes to the idea that the community can also change the perspective and how we do things even in a cemetery. Wow. So we reached out to the community and, and members of Leadership Niagara and said, this is something we're thinking about. Would you think it's a good idea? Would you like us to do this? And community, local community organizations, uh, some of whom I believe have been involved in Leadership Niagara, uh, Landcare Niagara is one of them, yeah. um, they responded with a resounding yes. And not only did they say, yes, we think this is a great idea, they actually supported it financially through government grants or, organiza or organizational grants. And so before the beginning of 2017, we had received upwards of $80,000 in community-raised money to develop this green burial section. It's at that point that we were able to go to senior staff and council and say, this is something that is important, not only to us as, a, as a, a group looking to improve on our cemetery, but to the community. And so we proceeded at that, at that point and we planted, I believe about 15,000 wildflower seeds, all native. Uh, we've planted over 200 native um, trees around this section. And so what we've done is ultimately taken a, 
a, a vacant grass field and, and returned it to its original state. Wow. And to kind of grow on that and, and to focus on this um, bringing community back to cemeteries and getting them involved. So we now work with small scale farms, um, a local organization. Yeah. And uh, Renee has now installed, well, at the beginning of the year, we had nine beehives in our green burial section. Now we have 18, I believe. Wow. And so we have now brought um, bee, beekeepers into our cemetery um, because we now have thousands of bees um, and we can watch the, the generation of these hives. We've brought in uh, young school students. Um, we had two schools come in and they did a seed bomb. Um, they, they, they developed seed bombs and threw them into our green burial section wow. and uh, they planted a sunflower garden and they get to come back and see those sunflowers fully blooming and they see the bees you know taking the pollen from those gardens um, and then we had a um, uh, nature groups come into the cemetery and all of this kind of comes back to Leadership Niagara and, and the reminder that we've had that being involved in the community um, personally is important uh, for those of us that have have the option or the opportunity but not only that bringing the community into your work finding ways to incorporate that yeah. um, that's what a community is all about yeah. and so we've opened up our gates we've we've or we're working on changing the perspectives and the stigmas of cemeteries um, and green burials and we're, we're, in my mind, really reaping the benefits, just seeing walkers come through, enjoying the, the flowers and, and the bees and the sculptures that have been introduced. Want to hear more? Stay tuned in for the next part of this series on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.